So I'm going to show you how to use smart filters to more efficiently and non-destructively edit your photo. So you have a photo here and you want to do some adjustments to it. So uh, let's, let's add a filter. Let's go to uh, filter, camera raw filter. And you're like, mm, you know, this could use a little bit more exposure, you know, not not much, just a little bit. But then you then you're like, you know what, I'm crazy and I'm from the 80s. So let's 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 lower that clarity down a lot and just muted tones because lol. Uh, <laughs> you're know, like, this looks fantastic. I'm going to hit OK. And then you're like, you know, I actually kind of don't want this over here. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to crop it out. Uh, so you crop it into just her and you're like fantastic and then you're looking at it a little bit more and you're like actually maybe i don't like the look of this 80s throwback thing here so you're going to go back into the filter and camera roll filter and you're going to change it except everything's been zeroed out but it's all right because you remember all the values so you're like well i'll just i'll just do the opposite right you know it, it, it it'll be fine i i remember all the values and yeah, it doesn't look the same. You're like, oh, man, damn, how do I change this? You might say, well, it's fine, just go back to where you were before. But the problem is that also undoes your crop. And if you've done a lot more to your jo to your photo here than just crop, um, going back to the beginning is not really a great way to uh, work on things efficiently. So I'm going to show you how to non-destructively edit this. So let's go up here into filter and then convert for smart filters. And so what this is going to do, if you go into the layers panel, you see a little um, object here, a little icon that says smart object. And so that means this is now a smart filter or a smart object. And so we can go back here into filter and then we can do uh, that camera raw filter again. You know, the one you really like where you're like a little bit of exposure, a little bit of the clarity, a little bit of the saturation. Fantastic. But see, now the difference is, you'll see there's a sub-layer here that says smart filters. And under that, there's a sub-sub-layer uh, <laughs> that says camera raw filter. Um, what's great about this is you can now just double click on this camera raw filter. And look, all the values are there just like you had originally had them. So you're like, yeah, I'm gonna complete the look all the way down because yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, but the point is you can continually make adjustments to this and it's totally fine. Now let's add another filter in here. So um, let's go to a blur and Gaussian blur, Gaussian, Gaussian, whatever. And you want to make this out of focus because you're silly and you're like, I don't want to see anything. Sharpness, what is that? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you'll see that it created another sub sub layer under the smart filters. And the great thing about this is you can kind of hide the blur here or you can turn off the camera roll filter or maybe you just want to turn off one or the other and just keep that. Either way, um, you can go back in just like the camera roll filter and adjust the blur or anything else that you're going to add in here. You could also individually delete um, each one of these filters or you could just delete all the filters. And if you do delete the um, all the filters, you'll notice that it's still a smart object. So any other filters you want to add, they will still apply as a sub layer like the last ones. Now this doesn't just apply to... Um, filters. You could also go here into image adjustments and like let's say you want to change the hue. You'll notice down here in this corner it created a smart filters thing for adjustments which is awesome. So you're like you know yellow. Let's make this yellow. And just like the filters again everything is there the way it was before. And you know let's let's do that crop that we had before. And even though we just did this crop the smart filters are still down there and we can still change the filters after the fact. So anything else you do to edit on this afterwards is going to still apply all these smart filters. So that's really great for non-destructive editing so you don't have to go back and delete everything you did before. And of course you could just make duplicate layers of everything and you know 
that's fine, but it looks so much nicer to do this and it's so much less hassle to have to make multiple copies of everything of like okay well this is the one before i did this edit and this is the one before i did this everything is nice and neat in this little line here and the other thing too is um if you were to use uh this down here you've probably seen me do it if you've seen any of my other tutorials this is um the same thing as those adjustment layers but this is a non-destructive way of editing them as well let's add a layers or a level layer here let's just lower the levels a little bit a little bit more and by lower i mean yeah okay so now let's uh let's duplicate this layer all right i'm gonna delete the smart filters and the thing is when you have these adjustment layers that you down here this applies to everything below the um whatever this layer is. So you have to make sure it's in the correct order. And so, you know, if I were to put that here, it no longer applies to this, but it still applies to this. I, it, it's just so much nicer to go into here and say, I'm gonna go to adjustments and levels and do that exact same thing that I just done. And it's all in here and you know it's only going to apply to this layer even if i put this layer underneath this one none of these sub layers of the smart filters underneath this photo here are going to apply to this which is awesome so anyway that's just a quick tip i wanted to share about you know being more efficient with editing and having things nice and clean and using non-destructive edits so uh yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, um, go ahead and click the like button. It shows me that you like the video. And if you want to see more of these, then go ahead and hit subscribe. I have more tutorials in the works and also already on my channel that you can check out as well as, well as like reviews and things I'm doing with uh, staying creative and things like that. Also on all the little social media places like Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram and all that. Uh, so you can check me out there. Um, but yeah, um, until next time, I'll see you later.